Why beta blockers, especially the non-selective one, should be used with caution in diabetic patients receiving insulin or oral hypoglycemic agents? While safe to co-prescribe, there are several crucial effects to monitor. Suppose a patient is on insulin or other oral hypoglycemic agents and they don't take enough food or skip a meal. As a result, their blood sugar level drops, leading to hypoglycemia. Normally, when blood sugar falls, the body releases adrenaline, producing early warning symptoms like tremor, palpitations, sweat sweating and anxiety. These symptoms alert the patient to quickly take sugar and prevent further falling blood sugar levels. But when we give the beta blocker on top of that, especially a non-selective one, it blocks the beta receptor through which the adrenaline acts. So now those warning signs are blunted or completely masked. The patient might not realize their sugar is falling and may only present later with confusion, drowsiness or even seizures due to severe hypoglycemia. And also, the beta blocker, by blocking the beta 2 receptor on the liver, can slow down the liver production of glucose by the process of glycogenolysis, which is the body's natural mechanism for recovering from a low blood sugar episode, which is further lower the blood sugar levels. And also, there is a worsening of insulin resistance because beta blockers can slightly reduce the body's sensitivity to insulin and impair insulin secretion from the pancreas. This can lead to a modest increase in blood glucose levels. This effect is generally mild and more pronounced with older non-selective beta blockers. Newer cardio-selective beta blockers like metoprolol, bisoprolol and etanolol have a much weaker effect on glucose metabolism and some beta blockers can cause a small amount of weight gain which make diabetes more difficult to control. So beta blockers are not contraindicated but remember in diabetic patients on insulin or OHA beta blockers can hide the warning signs of hypoglycemia and choose cardio selective beta blockers. Educate the patients about masking hypoglycemia and intensively monitor blood glucose levels.